Good morning. Good morning. We're gonna taste test Red Bull. Not you, Jay-Z. <laughs> Not James, but me. It smells good. Does it smell like holiday cheer? Yeah. But it tastes like a memory. It tastes like a memory? Yeah. Oh, dear, James -y. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> He's an acrobat. Is that, cool? Is that fun or no? Come on, what are you doing back there? <laughs> I don't trust him. I don't trust him. How about her? Always. Guys, I my arm is real sore, but I have like a weird headache. But I have headaches my whole life. Yeah. So I can't tell if this is like a normal headache or because of the booster. I'm just happy you weren't up like with chills. And that was terrible that when stuff. I first got it, but mm -hmm. it's worth it. Yeah. Um, Red Bull review. Pretty good. Doesn't have as much of a bite as I thought it was going to, which is good. Daisy. Daisy, Jamesy. Oh. It's silly doggy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Bonk. He <laughs> just like headbutted it. <laughs> Not as much of a bite, but still good. Yeah, more juicy. Will you drink it all holiday season? Yeah. Did you find the camera? Aye, aye, aye. Paint the night. I showed him this video I saw on Twitter and I did not think he'd react this cute. He was first like frozen for 20 seconds. <gasps> uh oh. So James Z has been loving the camera lately. He's also been like starting to like understand the phone, which is really fun. Um, but we're just playing. Peter has been like in back to back meetings all day long. Um, but I actually ended up not going to the dentist today because my like dry lips actually ended up being a cold sore. So I rescheduled that. Um, and I'm not really sure what we plan on doing tonight. I do know that Nightmare Before Christmas is being played at Gallagher Way, so we might go over there. Um, we might actually like do some like re-straightening up because Pumbaa actually leaves tomorrow and we're having some friends come over tomorrow during the day so it might be a mixed night of productivity and fun i mean we only have like what five days left in the halloween season like you gotta soak it up where am i going in the sandals in 50 degree weather you asked i am going to get my nails done the other day christina and i actually tried and you needed an appointment. So I made an appointment today. Peter's done with work. This way I'll be all set for like James's birthday party and Halloween and then they'll be done for Disney. That's something that I always did before living there was get my nails done like a pre-vacation ritual. So I'm kind of excited to just like chill. One hour later. My nails are done and my toes and they did them at the same time and I actually really didn't like it. It kind of just like felt rushed like let's let's get all this done and then I'm also like a super sensitive ticklish person on my feet and so I was worried that I was gonna like flinch and my fingers were gonna like get messed up because they were doing them both at the same time like I couldn't I had to concentrate and I wanted to just relax. But I mean, I get it. And like, I got out of there much quicker than I expected to. And I understand like why they would do that. But I just never had had that happen before. Um, so it was just weird. James noticed my nail polish and he's like unsure about it. I think. Weird, right? 
if I ever had my nails painted. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Is this the baby's first? No, I think he went on my shoulders once before. <laughs> He's almost one. He's almost one. He's almost one. What are we gonna do tonight? What are we gonna do? What? Clean. Clean and I think I'm Organize. going to pretty much never have fun again. Make his Halloween costume. Ooh, that's fun. I can show you his winter coats now. This is lined with fleece and it's just like nice and puffy, warm, nice hood. And this one is from Primark. It was $16. And then this one I like the best, but it just doesn't have like the inside warmth that like he's going to need. Um, and this one was $18 and it has this like fleece little hood. So those are the two jackets he got. We're having fun having this twin size bed out still, but we're gonna put it away tonight. Um, this is in James's room. If you didn't know, this twin size bed extends out to a king size and we just haven't put it back after our visitors. You're showing off your little Christmas get up. It's Mickey and the gang. Um, and then it came with this sweatshirt, um, Santa's little helpers. Are you being sassy? <laughs> Honestly, I got it mostly for these pants. They're so stinking cute. Um, but this is cute too. So he's got this also from Primark. The so like the set was sixteen dollars. And then I figured I should stock up on some mittens. These are only two bucks. These little ones, and then these little booties um, were seven. And then the last thing from Primark are just some some sweatpant joggers. He he has more like legging type pants, so he just needed some comfies. Um, I think the set was seven dollars. And then here are the clearance items that we got from Old Navy. Everything here was below five dollars. I think all together it ended up being like sixteen bucks. Um, but we just want to make sure that James had some clothes for Florida, so just some short sleeve shirts and a pair of comfy shorts and a pair of cute fancy shorts. Hey. Did we order Burger King or did we did order, order Burger, Burger King? For dinner. King. Did. And I ordered a surprise. For James? For, for everybody. Oh, a Hershey's pie. I've never seen this before. <laughs> oh, it's frozen. Yeah, it's cool. I got one for myself, too. Ooh. All right, we are ridding ourselves of our old pink sheets. And we are Christmas fine. I just said yesterday that we were going to wait until the first, but there's too many bags around. We just gotta put it in. And embrace it. Yeah. Plus, we all know that we full on celebrate November 1st, which is this little one's birthday. And we have a busy weekend ahead of us. So we're just gonna do it now. This flannel looks so comfy, but we're basically gonna have to have the windows cracked open all winter long, but I'm kind of for it. And then we're gonna have this quilt on top of it and then our down with a flannel duvet cover oh. flannel on flannel on flannel <laughs> warm coziness christmas I can't, sometimes i just can't do anything right and my son's laughing at me i just ripped this big old hole in the top sheet of our flannel sheets our brand new sheets literally out of the container oh i don't want to put that in the garbage um well, I think we're just gonna do that. <laughs> James thinks this is hilarious. Some people don't use the top sheet. Sarah's convincing herself that we don't need this top sheet. We'll see. All right, we got our new down duvet in our flannel duvet cover. James is loving it. You guys like the mix of patterns? I love a good boom. pattern mix. Boom, boom, boom. So, hold on. Boom. Boom, we're situated. We just gotta get our pillow situated and then we'll be all set. We have two awesome um, new firm pillows and then we'll be cozy. You sleep 130 of life, so we figured it was a necessity yeah. for a good quality of life. Yeah. <laughs> You're almost one. Can you believe it? You kinda came home last night and crashed. Right? Yeah, we just found 
You don't even know what those are. You never even had one before because you were so tiny. Her mom last dad Christmas. almost got a Frango Mint wedding cake. Yeah, but it was a thousand dollars or something. Like, it was yeah. like three, I think. Yeah, it was for a simple little three tier. We should have just done the top tier, but we had a we had a good wedding cake. Yeah. Cannoli. Tell me, open. You're a smart kid. <gasps> what? Yeah, it's chocolate. Try one. You can have one, baby. That's kind of, that's kind of a big bite. <laughs> Uh, use that. <laughs> My new sheets. <laughs> Did he just say good? <laughs> Replay. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yeah. <laughs> Is that good? Look at this cozy, cozy Christmas bed. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I am going to finish James's. Well, I'm going to do like the painting part of his costume tonight. And then the last touches I'm going to do tomorrow when Lauren comes over. Um, we're still not saying what he's being, but it involves mixing yellow and orange paint to get the right color. All right, we've had kind of a busy evening because the weekend is quickly approaching. We've got visitors tomorrow. We have to make a trip to the south side tomorrow. And then Friday, James's birthday. Um, Saturday, we've got like tentative things. Sunday's Halloween. Monday's James's birthday. Tuesday, we're together to, for Florida. So um, I'm just doing a quick two miles tonight. But I wanted to show you something that was very telling of the time of year. And it kind of goes along with Sarah and I putting our Christmas sheets and our new sheets and pillows in our bed. And I kept telling Sarah, like, when we come back from Florida, like, Disney turns into Christmas while we're there. When we return, it'll be the thick, or the beginning of winter and Christmas. Look at Belmont Harbor. Look at this. You may not realize what's different right now. Take a moment. What do you see? Or what don't you see? It is 11 o'clock at night. And there are two four, six, eight. There's not even two dozen boats in the harbor. That means the rest have gone through the river up to storage. I mean, I've shown you this Belmont Harbor many times. These are stocked. And over there off the, on like the floating uh, docks over there, there's dozens and dozens and dozens. I'm not, I can't see all the way down there by the, like where the mega yachts are. Um, it looks fairly empty. But I didn't even realize, like I didn't see any photos of the bridges going back up or internet speak of boats going back to storage, but Belmont Harbor is uh, almost empty for the winter, which is just wild. I forget the seasonality of Chicago, the summer is so quick. Pile of laundry. <laughs> Beautiful okay. piece of art. How was your run? It was good, I just went for two miles, so it was good. Um, did you watch the clip I sent you? Yeah. So you saw the pier? Yeah. And I like I'm, mixed feelings about it. I know, but I am happy with how the Halloween costume t turned out. I yeah, feel I like I've, tell you. I've been like avoiding it because it was like the biggest thing I had to do today was like keep her baby one. alive. <laughs> 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 but like it was like one shot at the Halloween costume. One shot. <laughs> but it looks good. Okay. I'm excited for you guys to see it. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>